Who is it that says Assad has to go? And why does Assad have to go? It seems like a few of us, you know, might not claim he's an angel, but do they, uh, but there's others that he's worse than Hitler. So where is the truth on this? Well, I remember Joe Sobern used to say the U.S. has the Hitler of the month club. So there's always, always somebody who's worse than Hitler. Uh, but I think uh, it's an interesting point. Uh, in, in my view, Bibi Netanyahu has been calling the longest for, for Assad to be kicked out and maybe worse done to him. Um, but we have all the neocons in this country, too. Uh, they hate his guts. Um, why is that? I, I always think, you know, just like uh, uh, Saddam Hussein in Iraq, just like Gaddafi in Libya, you have a guy who um, is a, a secularist, who's not an Islamicist, in fact, an anti-Islamicist, and he's also pro-Christian. So he's a pro-Christian Arab leader, uh, belonging to a very interesting small sect called the Alawites, uh, who uh, are uh, part Muslim, part Christian. That's a very unusual situation. But So I think uh, those are all reasons he's hated. I've always found him a very interesting guy, not the typical uh, dictator, I don't, whether he qualifies as a dictator is uh, maybe another question. But he was a physician, an ophthalmologist. He'd left Syria, studied in London, had a practice in London, started his family there. And he didn't want to be in politics. And it was only the death of his older brother uh, that led him to come back. And uh, I'm, sure, I'm sure he wishes many times he was still an ophthalmologist in London. This has not been a pleasant, uh, a pleasant turn of events for him.